Monochrome dressing has really taken fashion by a storm. Over the past couple of years, I just keep seeing more and more of this monochrome fashion all over my Instagram feed, and I am all about it, you guys. I think it's such an easy and effortless way to look like really chic and put together, and it's really accessible. In today's video, I wanted to show you five ways where I just pulled items from my closet and I built these monochrome looks using what I already have because I am such a big advocate advocate of optimizing what you already have, especially because, you know, we're in some difficult times right now and budgets can be a little bit tight. So I want to help you guys and show you guys how with a little bit of extra attention, you can put some really cute outfits together. A couple of weeks ago, I put out the top trends for 2022, 2023 fall winter. One of those trends was monochrome dressing. It's been around for a few years now, but it's definitely not going away. So if you want some inspiration on how to put some monochrome outfits together, then make sure to keep watching. It's so funny because I feel like my first initial exposure to monochrome dressing was my grandmother. So my first kind of perception of monochrome dressing was that it was dated. Nothing against my grandmother. She was an incredible person. But when I was a child, I was just like, well, I don't want to dress like grandma, you know, like, <laughs> but now I want to dress like grandma. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're not, then welcome back. My name is Lisa Gabrielle and I make videos on fashion and beauty and wellness and lifestyle. So if that kind of content interests you, then make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring the bell right now so you don't miss another video and you can join the family. I'm also going to leave my other social links. I'm on Instagram and TikTok and those will be in the description box in case you want to check me out there. Okay, so let's get into it. Now monochrome dressing totally works all year round and I think I'll make a spring summer version when that time of year comes around but I really wanted to showcase the fall winter styling that you can do with monochrome looks because that obviously incorporates a lot more layering and in that a lot more pieces so that's the focus today and also because it is fall winter <laughs> where I live anyway. Starting off with a all white outfit. I love dressing in all white. You know what? I'm going to say that about every single color. So I'm just going to like stop myself there so I don't get redundant. But white is such a chic color to wear, I find, especially in the fall and winter when it's supposed to be taboo. You know that rule like you're never supposed to wear white after Labor Day? Well, rules are meant to be broken in fashion. So if you want to wear white after Labor Day, then do it. Now, of course, like white summer dresses and like white sandals, maybe not, but a pair of white trousers or white jeans or like a white coat, oh my God, please, yes, winter whites. <laughs> There's something so classy. It's like you're blending in with the snow and I don't know. I am a huge fan of wearing white in the winter. I love this outfit because there's so many different textures and layers and shapes. Jeans are a little bit on the looser side. The top itself is quite skin tight and fitted. And so it provides like a really nice contrast. Also, the white on the top is a pure white and the jeans are more of that, is it a crew? A crew? The jeans are more of an ivory color and so is the sweater. So mixing those kind of hues is actually very in right now. I'm seeing it all over Pinterest and Instagram and lots of people kind of mixing these ivories and whites, which prior to the past couple of years might have been a faux pas, but right now it definitely is not. So it kind of like opens the window even wider to monochrome dressing because you don't have to match the exact hue and the exact shade. So that's kind of cool. I want to include that contrast to show you guys that if you have some white pieces and some ivory pieces then go ahead and mix them because they look great together and you're not going to be the only one so <laughs> I love throwing this sweater on this outfit because it just adds another dimension, another texture, another layer. And I just think layering is the best way to level up looks and outfits. So next we have this tan look. And I love this because again, it's not quite exactly the same shades. I don't think like most of the pieces I'm showing you are not from the same store even. So there's definitely a little bit of discrepancy in the color shade themselves. But like I said before, you 
really don't have to worry about it being an exact match. If it's around the same hue, then it still looks monochrome and it still looks bomb. So I love this look because it's really flowy and normally I like to follow the proportions ruling and go for more like tighter and looser items together to balance each other out. But because the sweater is so cropped and the pants themselves go in at the waist, you still have that shape, right? If the sweater was oversized but it wasn't cropped, this look would really not work as well. But because of the cropping, you can still see my shape under the sweater. So I think that because of that, these two pieces actually go together really well and in an interesting way. For this all black monochrome look, I again have played with textures. I have my leather pants, and then I've gone for more of a knit top just because I think that it contrasts the leather nicely. The leather pants obviously give off this more edgy style and then the knit makes it a little bit more tamed down, a little bit more elegant, a little bit more not quite preppy but just I think adds a contrast to the leather pants. Now this look is great on its own with a pair of heeled boots or flat boots but then if you want to elevate it or if you want another layer then throwing a blazer on top could be a fun way to do so. And this blazer, I thought it would be interesting because it does have those pinstripes, so it's not not monochrome, but it is adding another little something to break up the black. So it's still very much a monochrome outfit, but there's that little detailing that creates a little bit more intrigue, a little bit more uniqueness. That's why I went for that blazer. When it comes to dressing in all black, I really think that you can do it anytime and anywhere. And like black just always goes. You know those days where you're just like, oh my God, I don't know what to wear. Those are the days where I'm always like, if you put on something all black, you will be happy because it's always going to be flattering. It's always going to be stylish. There's just no regrets when it comes to black, in my opinion. I know some people feel differently and they're, you know, very much more color dressers, but in my fashion books, you can't go wrong with all black. This outfit is actually really interesting because both pieces are definitely the most similar, but they're not from the same store. Again, the skirt is from Ritzia and the top is from Uniqlo. It's one of their cashmere sweater tops. It's a very similar material and shade. The skirt is a wool skirt and then the top is the cashmere, but they appear to be a very similar material to the eye and the color is like almost spot on. I love this because how fun is it that I was able to get a matching set which obviously we all know matching sets are very in and I, I think matching sets are just like a subset of fashion in their own kind of like jumpsuits like matching sets are just a thing now so it's cool that I was able to get a matching set out of two items that I didn't even intend like when I bought that skirt I wasn't thinking like "Ooh, I'm gonna make a matching set with my sweater no it just happened and pleasantly surprised with that so I love these two together I think throwing on a pair of boots just adds a little bit of elegance and dimension so that it's not just, you know, you're all in gray. I don't know, they just ground the outfit. Sometimes I really struggle to articulate things. I apologize for that. This beige set is actually a set, but then the blazer is from Zara, but they're such a close shade that they work really well in this really think that the blazer pulls the whole look together. Without the blazer, it's just not quite as cool and stylish, I find. So I'm really happy that I found this blazer in this color in my closet. Obviously, I didn't buy them to match, but it's such a close color. It really creates a monochrome effect for this look. So I think it's really cool. And again, we're mixing textures. The set is this satin smooth material, and it's got a very feminine shape because the skirt has has that little flounce to it. I find it's a very, very feminine looking ensemble. But then when you add the blazer, the blazer is this oversized, kind of more chunky, like oversized blazer. <laughs> It elevates it so much because it just transforms that feminine side and then adds more of like that masculine boyfriend blazer element that really just brings the whole look together in my opinion. I love the contrast in shapes and in styles and yet in the same color, she's just butter. We love her. So that is it. Those are all of my looks. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that it gave you some inspiration on building monochrome outfits. Let me know your thoughts on the monochrome trend. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Tell me everything. Let me know what your favorite outfit was. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button, ring the bell. And if you want to check out my socials, they're linked down below. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.